Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video continuing on showing the uh, finished painted units uh, in our kind of Warhammer armies that me and my son are building. So today we are talking about the Primaris Lieutenant that comes with the uh, the Recruit Edition. So this is our Ultramarines uh, Primaris Lieutenant and I figured I'd take you through. Uh, similar to the previous video, what colors I used and how I paint them, et cetera, et cetera. So ba much like the others, base coat and McCrag blue right onto the uh, miniature with no primer. Um, the actual base was done with uh, Sterling mud, and then um, the rim was done in Steel Legion drab, and then the a dry brush of Steel Legion drab on top there. And then we also tried to do kind of getting, you know, being a little messy with it. So you can see, it looks like he kind of has mud on his boots, right? So trying to do just a little, you know, not so much worrying about that detail. And then uh, we also painted the Necron skull there, right, as feet. I didn't go into a whole lot of detail on that. Um, I probably could have done a little better, but, you know, my first time. So, and, and so um, a couple of details here. So the gold retributor armor, um... All of the silver is lead belcher. All of the black is Abaddon black. The um, some of the details kind of on the inside of the shield, right? Black and silver. Uh, the handle on the sword, the handle on the shield, and all the belt pouches. That's all Mornfang brown that I used. Um, you know, uh, Reckarth flesh for the parchment, and then uh, Mephiston red for the for the uh, purity seal wax, his eyes, and then as well as on his pistol, Neo Vokite pistol, that is also Mephiston red there. And, you know, looking at this, it's funny. You look at your models and you're like, oh, that's okay. That looks okay. You know, we're getting there. And then filming like this, where I can see it through the frame of the camera, kind of up close, I'm like, ooh, that looks bad. Oh, that looks bad. But this is the process, right? I mean, this is my first time learning to paint. So uh, I'm happy with the results for a first time, and I'm, I'm trying to get better, so I'm enjoying it. Um, let me see here. The, his uh, cloak, right, that little tabard or whatever, that's all Rekka flush shade. Um, a couple notes here. All the white, uh, I guess all the white is Corex white. Um, Freehanding those stripes was hard. I'm not very good at it. Um, you know, there should be a central red stripe and then two white stripes down the side, right? For uh, to denote him being a lieutenant, um, you know, much like over here, the that parchment was wrecked with flesh, and then white skull with the red uh, kind of iron halo symbology there on the on the backpack as well as the shoulder. And again, not the not the prettiest work. You know, I can see some flaws. Maybe I'll go back and check those out. You know, fix those one day. Um, so one oddity I found, and I went. I did, I redid this a couple times. Uh, the Storm Shield here, okay? The Games Workshop recipe for like the white color on this started off with a like celestial gray, I think, and then layering on uh, another kind of medium tone and then layering white scar. And, but if you look at the art, it looks white. So I don't know how that layering is supposed to work on the shield to get kind of a white shield. Maybe if you layer them correctly, It'll give it more of that metallic kind of white color. I don't know. What this is, is I, I started with that gray color. And I put it on there and I looked at it and I'm like, I want it more white. So I just painted over it with Corax white because that's what I had. It's a little messy. So that's what that color looks like. It's just Corax white. I'm, I wanted more of a white shield. Maybe it would look a little better if I did the layering and then I you know did the proper layering. Um the next storm shield I do, if I have the opportunity, if I can get some white scar or other kind of bright white paint, maybe I'll try layering the gray and then the white on, on top of it and see if that gives me the look that I'm wanting. But for now, I just used Corex white because that's what I had to get the white shield, which I, I think looks nice. Um, I think that's all the colors and all the techniques and all the oddities. Um, this paints up just like the other ones, uh, just, you know, same colors, different kind of places, right? And um, be sure you get everywhere. Like, I see a gaping flaw right here. Look, inside of the shoulder panel here, right, is gold. 
but I completely missed it over here. And that's something to watch out for, is that there are so many nooks and crannies on this thing where you will look at this thing a dozen times, and each time you'll be like, okay, I got everything. And then take, then look at it with fresh eyes a day later and be like, oh crap, I forgot. I missed that, I missed that, I missed that. So it is quite the process to be very detailed oriented to get this. Um, last thing I wanna talk about on this model is the decals. So um, this guy came out of the Recruit Edition, so it came with some decals. But in order, in my efforts to try to duplicate the box art, at least with you know how things are laid out in the, the decals and everything, it doesn't give you everything, right, in the Recruit Edition. Now, if you get a normal Space Marines uh, transfer sheet from Games Workshop that has a bunch of different stuff on it, then you get most of the other things. But even still, it's not enough. So, like, the Recruit Edition gave you this nice Ultramarine symbol on the side there, and uh, I think that was the only decal that it actually gave you. Um, but then if you get the full infantry transfer sheet, then you can get, uh, like a little chapter symbol there and then this kind of stuff. So for this, um, heraldry, the tilting shield here, tilting panel here, um, I painted it half with, uh, yellow. So I used the, uh, Averlin Sunset that came in the starter paint set for the yellow. And then this little corner down here, I painted black and then I painted a red stripe with Mephiston red on top of that. So all that is paint. The checkers came out of the infantry transfer sheet out of the command edition that I bought, so not out of the recruit. So you can't do this with what's given to you out of the recruit edition unless you want to freehand the checks, which I don't because I suck. Um, and then likewise, these little uh, black uh, kind of bird wings, right? Little campaign badges or whatever. The, the art online shows three of those, but on the infantry transfer sheet, you only get two of these in that size. So even with that, you still can't do it. So I'm gonna have to wait until I get another infantry transfer sheet somewhere, right? Through the next next box of things I buy uh, to where I can get another one of these to put on there to finish them off. So I suspect I'll be encountering stuff like that if I really wanna to try to match the box art. Uh, but I think that's about it. Um, well, that's it for the Lieutenant, I guess. Uh, Hope you guys found this useful, uh, at least to show you, hey, with this color scheme, this is what you did. Oh, I guess I can talk about shades. So Nolan Oil for all the blue and all the metal, um, all the, or I guess all the silver metal, uh, the gold metal, I think I, I used Agrax Earthshade on the on the metal, on the copper, or not copper, on the gold for the Retributor armor. And you can see on the Aquila here, how it, it adds just a little bit of shading, which I kind of like. Um, so that, that's an option you can do. I also use that Agrax Earthshade on the tabard a little bit. You can see just a little here pulling in the recesses. I went over this several times because I shade it too dark. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the back side because I probably need some more shade. No, not really. I shade it too dark. It could stand to use another round of shading to try to get in the, rec in the, get in the recesses down here. But I, you know, the first couple of goes I shaded it too dark, so I just repainted over it with uh, Recarth Flesh. Uh, just because it, it it was way too dark, but so you have options there to use that shade kind of in these recesses to to deepen the recesses to make the rest of the folds and the cloth pop. Um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, like the other swords, Mornfang Brown on the sword handle there. Um, okay, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.